Poseł Agniu. Mr. Agniu. Chairman, thank you. Uh, with this subject of cloning, uh, I think we should just bear in mind that it's never really likely to catch on in a big way because it assumes you have reached the pinnacle, you've reached the very best, and you will never get any better. But people are always seeking to improve the genetics of farm animals, and once somebody has cloned what they think is the best, very soon somebody comes along with something that's slightly better than the clone, and so that clone will simply fall away. So I can't see it catching on, particularly because of the problems associated with it. So if there is higher mortality associated with it, any advantage, commercial advantage you might get from the cloning uh, is negated by the fact that you do have this uh, mortality. Uh, if I could just ask those in front of me to keep a little quieter, Chairman, if you wouldn't mind. Um, there is, of course, a positive aspect to this. Just imagine the scenario of a disease in cattle that started in the Far East and rapidly goes west because of the way humans may be carriers of this disease and cattle die like flies. Somewhere in the Far East, there is an animal that is resistant to this problem and to try and get our numbers up of resistant animals, cloning may be helpful. Never forget there can be a positive aspect of this sort of thing. What really worries me though is the European Union wanted regulation, a knee-jerk reaction with a lot of emotion behind it will turn up in Britain, and we will, of course, gold-plate it and obey it to the letter, whereas we wonder in other member states, will they really have the ability to follow the progeny of cloned animals right the way through the food chain? I doubt it. In any case, I think this is something to keep up our sleeve in Britain. As an independent Britain, uh, our supermarkets can be persuaded by our consumers not to import uh, the progeny of cloned animals from the states or anywhere like that. That will help protect our industry from Mercosur and TTIP. Thank you.